to continue. All right, uh, just a quick little thing. I instantly had to stop the other one. Now we're starting this one. It's another video, um, but or another episode. But basically, like we kind of ran out of time. It was in the middle of a cutscene. So now we're in this one, which also means that I'm doing a, uh, another episode immediately after. So that's what's going on. Continue the tournament that he founded with Lord Liu Kang in hopes that it would foster peace among realms. May Jared's soul watch over us with pride from its resting place in the living forest. Lord Liu Kang. Empress Sindel. It pleases me to once again be your guest. Here, you are always welcome. Now, let us meet your champion. Earthrealm's champion is Raiden, your majesty. He has earned his place by embodying the very best qualities of Earthrealm's people. You seem nervous, young man. I'm a stranger in an unfamiliar land, here to compete against its greatest fighters. Yes, I am nervous. As you should be, you have a difficult path ahead. It has begun. As tradition requires, Outworld's initial competitor will be Sundo's first constable, Li Mei. May she defend our realm's glory as well as she preserves our capital's order. Your Majesty, I will honor both the Royal House and all of Outworld with my combat. If so, you will vastly exceed my expectations. Remember, were it not for Jared's tradition, you would not be here. All you need do is your best. The rest will take care of itself. Yes, Lord Liu Kang. Shall we see what you can do? Hopefully, this will be the first of many victories. I will prevail, Earthrealmer. This fight is more important to me than you can ever know. Fight! Fight is more important to me than you can ever know. Fight!
Thank you for the match, First Constable. My compliments, Raiden, on a well-fought match. We'll see how you fare in the next. General Shao, whom have you chosen as our next competitor? Your Majesty, I have chosen Reiko, my second in command. As a boy, Reiko was orphaned during the Kafala War. Though captured, his spirit remained unbroken. He scratched, clawed, and survived. After the war, I took him in, molded him into the perfect soldier. Few others are as well versed in the ways of war. <laughs> than your pride being wounded. by a simple farmer.
I am ready for my next opponent, Your Majesty. Whom shall I face? Patience, young man. We are adjourned until first light. I hope to see you all at this evening's banquet. I'm sorry, you're 10,000 years old? Oh, talk about aging gracefully. What do you see in him? He is a hero, Raven. Though he may not yet know it. Do you recognize everyone here? Most, yes. From your descriptions. Except for him. That is Rain, the High Mage of Outworld. Not his given name. But one earned due to his mastery of water magic. Are you unwell, Princess? Uh, I'm fine, Tanya. I know I'm to fight Melina, but will I also face Tanya? By tradition, you should not. If you did, you would be tested. Why? Umgadi, like Tanya, are warrior priestesses, selected from the firstborn daughters of Outworld. From infancy, they are trained to defend the royal family. Outworld must see much conflict if the Empress needs such protection. Its past has been difficult. Though the last thousand years of Empress Sindel's reign have been a true golden age, the memories of that strife still linger. My husband, Jared, believed that the future of our realms lay together. Let us move forward in open dialogue, letting no secrets tear our bonds asunder. Your Majesty, it's an honor to be here and to meet your people. I can already see there's more that joins us than divides us. <laughs> our peoples could not be more different, champion. Excuse me? You heard me. Earth realm is a devoid of all... That's enough, General. My apologies. Sorry, I just like that. She's like, shut your ass up. Fucking, um... And yeah, I already... I heard that she says it has begun and how Luke King said Mortal Kombat. I do... I, trust me, I, I, I hear all those things. I just don't like playing them out most of the time. It's just more subtle stuff. I'm really loving the story. Your Majesty. Perhaps I've enjoyed too much of this excellent wine. With your permission. You may go. It is bad enough we may lose to the Earth Realmers, but then you go and drunkenly insult them? You needlessly stain my honor and your family's proud military tradition. May I speak freely, your majesty? Again with this? If you must. We must act on the sorcerer's prophecy. He warns that Liu Kang will conquer Outworld. And his predictions are usually impeccable. But I've no proof of Liu Kang's ill intent. His interventions have kept Outworld at peace for centuries. He herds us into compromises. Shackles our independence. If we could meet our enemies in battle, we'll take- You would consign us to endless war. Better that than be Liu Kang's lapdog. If I see evidence of the prophecy's accuracy, we will act. But only then, and only at my command. Did not your illustrious father teach you that war is the last resort, not the first? He did, your majesty. Do not forget that, general. Come.
You asked to see us? I saw what happened this evening. Uh, there was nothing. It was something I ate. Was it? I can't chance it, can I? If you fight tomorrow, the symptoms of your disease could manifest. Katana will take your place. What? Uh, there are already whispers she should replace me as your heir. This will make them screams! Your illness is your fault. Why you left the palace that night unattended is still beyond me. I just needed time alone, away from all this. I never thought that... That's your problem, Melina. You never think. A mother... Damn, she hit him with that fucking... I forgot what type of meme that was. You never think, one. Okay, okay. He's only trying to protect you, sister. If your disease becomes known, you will be banished to the wastes. For you to hold the throne, we must keep your secret. <laughs> you continue to surprise Raiden. Among us. Sorry, 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 sorry. I just got it. That fucking. You, once you say you never think, it instantly reminded me of fucking Breaking Bad. <laughs> Others who have defeated Kotal, Motaro, and Shiva. Only two fights remain. Are you ready, Earthrealmer? Wait, what? So you said I already defeated Motaro and fucking Shiva. She wasn't even in the game. That's crazy. Okay. I am your majesty. Then next you face my daughter. Katana. Your Majesty, this is unprecedented. Raiden's next opponent should be your heir. Melina is unavailable. She's away on pressing Imperial business. But I have not prepared him to battle Katana. He's already demonstrated great skill. Can he not improvise? Do not worry. I can do this. Very well. I will be no easier to fight than my sister, Earthrealmer. I suffer under no such delusion, your highness. I will win this fight. For her, my empress, and all of Outworld. Fight!
done yet. Face me. Truly formidable. Fight well, Princess. As do you, Earthrealmer. Surprisingly so. I hope we meet again. Under different circumstances. It's time for the final match. It's a testament to your abilities that you've made it thus far. But now you must face General Shao. Victor of the Tavarian War, conqueror of the Quatan Plains, defender of the Nabala Coast. As has his family for generations, General Shao defends us with zeal and tenacity. All of Outworld is grateful for his service. That's a notable list of accomplishments, General. It is a mere fraction of them. A full recitation would take days. Fight.
I have done it. Congratulations, Raiden. Earth Realm wins. <clears throat> May I assist you? Stay away, Earth Realmer. Well done. You have exceeded my greatest expectations. Thank you, Lord Liu Kang. Because of you, the Outworlders who would disturb the peace will once again be held at bay. Come, let us bid our hosts farewell and return to Earthrealm. All right, yeah! That was great! Very impressive. It's good to see you. Likewise, Lord Liu Kang. I have watched you with the hourglass. You are relishing your role as Earthrealm's protector. It suits me far better than being Keeper of Time ever did. I never wanted to replace Kronika. Being history's architect drove her mad. I had no wish to share her fate. Which is why I am forever grateful that you volunteered to safeguard the Hourglass. Despite my having relinquished its power, the new era has unfolded as it should. You created me in your own image. Duty is my highest calling. While I am glad you are here, you are not one for social calls. Is there trouble with the Hourglass? With something it has shown me. What, Geras? When you restarted history, you altered the destinies of certain malefactors to neutralize them. At least one of them is defying that destiny. Shang Tsung. Go on. He has escaped his meaningless life and is on his way to becoming a powerful sorcerer. He has already infiltrated Sindel's court. I saw no sign of him during the tournament. But if that snake is in Sindel's ear... Your vision of peace may already be compromised. I appreciate this warning, Giris. I will investigate. Please return to the Hourglass and see what else you can learn. So we find him in Outworld and bring him here for questioning? Yes. If what I fear has happened, he is a grave threat to the realms. Anything else? Shang Tsung is a master of deceit. Do not trust a word he utters. Sounds a lot like my first agents. It's a tricky mission. I'd rather Raiden go along than this one. Hey! This one is up for the job. This mission must be done quietly. I am breaking my word with Empress Sindel by sending you into Outworld without her knowledge. Due to the tournament, Raiden is now a familiar face there. Sending him will only increase your risk of being discovered. This talisman is attuned to Shang Tsung's Qi. Follow it to him. And be careful. May the Elder Gods protect you. there yet again how old are you five what can i say these boots weren't made for walking if that is the most pain you feel today consider yourself lucky oh i'm already lucky i've got cento strapped to my back i will reclaim it cage got three million it's yours you know i don't have it i bet you your kuz pals could come up with it oh that's right you blew them off Ah, if there's one lesson Hollywood's taught me, it's never burn bridges. You never know who can help. 
The Yakuza are leeches, bleeding out those too weak to resist. I grew up in that life, and I never understood it. Why my gain required others' pain. I got out. I need my clan out, too. We can't be part of their crimes any longer. What's your precious say? That Shang Tsung is among those... things. Oh, my fans are gonna go nuts cosplaying them a cage gone. Still. If he squirms, I cannot extract marrow. That's Shang Tsu. Let's jump him after he's done. Oh, in fists of iron. We did this thing where like we're not basing strategy on your movies, Cage. Let me go! You can't do this! The wound will heal in time. It is a small price to pay for progress. <laughs> On second thought, this scene's playing fine without us. <gasps> yeah, I say we let him finish it. We have to save Shang Tsung. Liu Kang needs him alive. To, but you can't. You're one of his minions. You'll die in his place. Fight. <laughs> 
back to Shang Tsung Corpse! like, but we don't work for Shang Tsung. If not, why save him? Because Liu Kang, Earthrealm's protector, wants to question him. He thinks Shang Tsung may be a threat to both our realms. I'm Kenshi Takahashi. <laughs> our kind do not shake hands. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to offend. Don't you know what we are? No. We don't. We are victims of Tarkat. The disease is not easily gotten, but you can't risk more close exposure. It disfigures, then debilitates. In time, it will turn us all into bloodthirsty monsters. Death is our only release. So you weren't always like this? I was once a rich merchant, but when I became ill, I was banished. Now I run this colony. I am Baraka. What does Shang Tsung want with your bone marrow, Baraka? I don't know, but he comes here each month to harvest it. Release us, and we'll capture Shang Tsung. And we'll find out why he's been coming here. I promise. Let them go. Thank you. We won't let you down. Damn. This was guiding us to Shang Tsung. Now we can't find him. His laboratory is near. I'll take you. Any idea what to expect? No. I've never been inside. Stay here. We'll check it out. The addition of crushed chitin larva proved an inspired choice. In testing, outcomes improved significantly. And I have modified the formula since the last time it was administered. It uses several new ingredients. This new serum is exactly what we need. Its effects will be immediate and long-lasting. How can you be sure? Because it is brewed from freshly extracted Tarkatan marrow. It couldn't be more potent. He is infecting Melina with Tarkat. And he's got two of Sindel's top dogs in on it. No wonder Liu Kang is worried about this guy. We need to stop him. Save a distressed damsel? <laughs> sure thing. Get away from her. You bitch. Excuse me? You know. The movie. Tiny girl, ginormous alien. Ready? No? Seriously? <laughs> Earthrealmers. How did they find it? They've already seen too much. I need time. Buy it for me. Liu Kang sent you, didn't he? Sent you to learn our secrets. He sent us here for Shang Tsung. But it looks like he's just part of the problem. Fuck. 
Okay. So, I am going to cut this episode a little bit short because it's late and I already did the last episode like immediately before this one. Because I, I didn't uh, time it right with the cutscene and the time limit. But again, just, yeah, like, of course, obviously, anytime I don't talk during a cutscene, doesn't mean I'm, like, not liking it or, like, any little joke that they do. I like it. I'm loving the story, like, everything about this. But, um, yeah, that's gonna be it for now. I know it's all sudden and shit. But, yeah, um, I know I said that already. Just look. Great, <laughs> great game, dude. Uh, I was doing super good with fucking uh, Raiden, though. But, again, I really am going to be trying to main Havoc, General Shao, and Reiko. Mostly Havoc. But, yeah, that'll be it. All right.